Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to BuzzFest 29. And please join me in welcoming home here to Houston, Texas. They've been out on the road with the dudes in 10 years. Their tour culminates here at BuzzFest 29. Give it up for the last place you look. So for me, this is very, very interesting because you're a band that got their start right here on the show on Sunday nights on our little Texas Buzz show. And now, and now you're out on the road on your first big ass tour playing to hundreds, sometimes thousands of people a night uh, on the road with 10 years and red jumpsuit apparatus. And I think this is like, usually when you interview bands, it's not nearly as interesting as this, but I'm catching you guys right in the middle of your first full on professional musician potential rock star experiences <laughs> what is that like yeah that's pretty amazing it is pretty awesome i don't have a job anymore yeah <laughs> how, how many of you quit how many of you have quit your job so far uh, all of us yeah, there you go ladies us. and gentlemen give it up for the newly professional <laughs> musicians right here in h-town so let me ask you this when you were slogging away in practice rooms and writing wow. songs and doing demos and things of that nature and you pictured a situation where you were out on tour on a big tour playing to a whole bunch of people every single night. How much of your reality is like what you pictured now and what's completely different? Well, I think we definitely have to be more responsible than we ever thought so. A lot of overnight driving and packing up, unpacking. It's pretty, it's pretty much all we do. Packing up. And do, do you have one person that's in charge of like sitting next to the driver and being like, wake up? And yeah, we, we do shifts, uh, take turns driving until, uh, until someone gets too tired. So. Right. Do you have like, and, and I hate those any, any wacky stories from the road questions during interviews, but because this is your first ever <laughs> real tour what is like perhaps the most surprising thing that's happened to you since you got out on the road you, you learn a lot about people you tour with uh, <laughs> uh, Mikey uh, Mikey will take this one away what's your best story this tour Mikey yeah Mikey tell what you did this tour so far <laughs> I mean I can't I can't really really get into it too much but if you check our Twitter <laughs> there's a hashtag uh, they, yeah sign the penis <laughs> <laughs> And the story is pretty much explanatory. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's, for those that didn't hear Nava, what, the hashtag what? Oh, hashtag sign the penis. Okay, so if you guys all jump on Twitter right now and look for the hashtag sign the penis, I'm not sure how much of this is actually going to get on the air and how much of it is going to be bleeped out, but there should be some interesting stories from the last place you look journal on the road. So I, I always love to ask bands this as well when uh, when they get here if you had to pick a single record or a single song or maybe even a single artist that made you go wait this is it or, or maybe it was a show that you went to this is it i want to be a musician I, I somehow want to be involved in music if there is a single song record artist show what was that transcending moment where you're like th this is it i got to try and do this i remember I, I once got a chance to ask Jerry Cantrell from Alice and Change that, and he said it was an Elton John record, no questions asked. What it was it for you? You know what? I, it's really weird. It just came to me, but uh, local uh, there's a local band called Thirty Foot Fall. Uh, I saw uh, I saw their sticker on a uh, kick, my friend's kick drum when I just started, you know, uh, was kind of getting interested. I guess or I was around friends that played music and I really didn't. And I'm like, who's Thirty Foot Fall? And I get into it and I love it. I find out that they're local. And they play every Christmas. I try to go when I can. But uh, I mean, they uh, by me loving what uh, what they did uh, definitely you know spawned me to go and search out other things to listen to and other bands that would eventually help me along the way. But man, it's really crazy. I never even thought about it that way. But not three for fall, if you're listening, I love you guys. Very cool. And the rest of you? Uh, mine was Richard's first band. I, uh, I wandered around a neighborhood hearing a band practice when I was like 12 and uh, saw them and I just sat there and watched them play. That's like, okay, I gotta figure out how to play that guitar. And what was the name of said band? Uh, Virtue. Oh, it was a great name. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, I didn't say the name inspired me, I just said the band. <laughs> Uh, I guess I would have to say, like, uh, when I was in college, I listened to uh, a bunch of different bands, but um, I used to go to these shows at a little place called Mary Jane's, uh -huh. and it's like all these, like, little bitty rock shows, probably, like, 30 people there, and all these, like, dirty guys pile out of a van and play rock and roll, and I'm like, that would be awesome if that's what I get to do, and at that, that, that moment, I was like, man, that's... One thing that I'm noticing is you all have not the loftiest aspirations in the world, all inspired by local bands playing to 10 people a night, and look at you <laughs> out on the road kicking ass, taking names, being like, we are ginormous rock stars in the making and you sir what was your defining band moment I actually have to say it was uh, right here at this venue I saw I got to see live for the first time I've actually first concert uh, actually got kicked out of that concert by sliding down that hill <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was 
was the best moment of my life in my rock and roll career. That is very, very cool. Well, they got their start here on Sunday nights on the Texas Buzz. They are now kicking ass, taking names. You're going to hear them more and more and more. They're out on the road with 10 years who are also playing this show today. And it's a tour that culminates right here in their hometown of Houston, Texas for BuzzFest 29. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give it up for hometown boys. John Good, the last place you look, make some noise. Thank you, everybody.